Okay, so uh, this thing right here is a power. Power! So that's a power. And uh, we, we, as mathematicians and as uh, lay people, we often mix all these terms up, and so that makes it harder. This thing is called an exponent, but I know that I have, uh, hopefully less frequently, but um, a, a good portion of the high school, junior high school, mid middle school, blah, 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 world calls this whole thing an exponent, and it's not. This is an exponent. This whole thing is called a power, and this guy right here is called a base. Okay, so we're gonna review what the world also refers to as exponent rules, and I guess I'm the, I'm the, uh, I'm the one on the outside on this, uh, but I, for whatever reason, it always bugs me, so, but I'll explain in a second. So let's take a look at a couple of examples to just walk through this. So hopefully you guys uh, recall that x cubed is saying that, hey, take this base, this base, and multiply it three times. So that would be x times x times x. Note that I don't use that language, multiply times itself or whatever. I, I, it bugs me, I don't know. Um, so it's multiply the base three times, one, two, three. So if I had seven to the fifth, that's multiply the base of seven five times. Okay, that's a really bad seven. I feel bad for that seven. So anyway, um, uh, that's what we're talking about here. All right, so uh, here's another example. Um, x cubed, x squared. So you probably know the rule, or so I hope. This one is telling you to multiply the base x three times, okay? And then this guy is telling you to multiply the base twice. So how many times are we multiplying the x? Five times. Okay. So uh, that becomes our first rule. And so that's, uh, let's see if I can just scoot down and write it down here somewhere. Um, a to the m times a to the n, or x to the m times x to the n, is equal to the a, equal to a times the, n, excuse me, a to the m plus n. So you add the exponents when the two powers are being multiplied. So you add the exponents, right? Three plus two is five, when the powers are being multiplied, all right? So that's the first guy. Uh, the second guy is something like this, two to the fifth cubed. So let's take a look at this power first, this big power, uh, this guy right here. Let's look at that one first. That one says, hey, take this base, and multiply it three times. So that's gonna be two to the fifth times two to the fifth times two to the fifth. So then now, from there, let's look at the inside of this. And this says, take this base and multiply it five times. So I'm gonna get two times two times two times two times two. And then I'm gonna do that again and again. How many twos am I gonna have total? Well, there's five of them here and I'm lazy and didn't write it out, but there are five of them here and five of them there. So how many twos are being multiplied? So the base of two, how many times is it being multiplied? 15 times, five, five, and five, three times five, 15, or two times five times three. So note, when I'm raising a power to an exponent, I multiply the two exponents, just like that. So that becomes our quote, second rule, and that's a to the m, to the n is equal to the a, m, n, all right? So the next guy, and I'm trying to make these quick because I know you don't want to sit there and watch 50 hours of video. Uh, not that you're required to watch any of this. All right, so let's look at this next guy. Um, three, is that the one? Yeah, three x to the seventh. Now, a whole bunch of books do this kind of thing. Um, they do this, take this seven and do it like that, and I just don't want to do that. And the reason why is it looks like distribution, and it is not, it is not, repeat, it is not distribution. Um, what this is telling you is take this base and multiply it seven times. 3x, 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 3x. Seven times, shouldn't have chose seven, right? So how many threes are being multiplied here? How many of these threes are being multiplied? Uh, clearly, I got dot, 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 dot. How many? Seven. Three to the seventh. And then how many x's are being multiplied? Seven. So yes, effectively, you are 
taking that seven and giving it to those pieces, the coefficient and the variable, but it's not distribution. So I don't want to draw the arrows. You should know how to use this power and expand this exponent. And that's what we're doing. So that equals three to the seventh times x to the seventh. And typically you would simplify three to the seventh to be whatever it is. I haven't done it ahead of time, so it hurts my head. Um, so that leads us to our third rule, a, b to the m is equal to a to the m times b to the m, okay? And I should have given a little more room, but we'll see what we can do here. Uh, let's go to this. Let's go to white. I haven't used white in forever. It might be too bright. It might scream in my face. Uh, here's the fourth rule. Um, a over b to the m. And this works just like multiplication. Think of the b as 1 over b. And so this is going to be a to the m over b to the m. And that gives us our fourth rule. a over b to the m is equal to a to the m over b to the m. So those are your exponent rules. And then my other pet peeve is I hate calling them rules because they're not really rules. They are shortcuts. I don't want to write all this nonsense out. So we figure out the pattern. We figure out what how, you know, a shortcut. So I prefer to not call them rules, but I prefer to call them shortcuts. That's how I think of them in my head. Because, and also, if you don't think of them as rules, you want to think of it as something to memorize. You know what this tells you to do with the base. If you ever forget, quote, the rule, just do it out the long way. You can always do it out the long way. Yes, it's less efficient, but you can do it. So that's why, that's my pet peeve. All right, that's it. Bye.